want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakah Kodash, Double and see apostles and elders of great men's soul. Citation to 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children that can be saved. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Brother Yawasap. Brother Yakal. Brother Masha. All right, coming to you with a quick lesson. Um, based on this image you see here, and this quote I'm going to read, for, I think it's from this series on um, Vikings. Mm -hmm. It says, I, I never ask for power. Power is only given to those who are prepared to lower themselves to pick it up. All right? And you know this might seem contradictory or controversial, right? Because none of us ask to to exist. None of us ask to be in this truth. None of us ask to be a man or whatever. But Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai in His infinite wisdom blessed us and graced us with it. But there's a next level to it. Yeah. Next level is is the position that we're in. You know. The most I appoint certain angels, certain certain creatures he created to do certain things. But um some were made for a particular purpose. And in this truth on, on while we on this on this um earthly plateau or earthly domain, you know, we have to we have to prepare ourselves to lower ourselves to pick up power. Alright? Uh -huh. We're gonna get into that. You guys have Yeah, the logo back to our being humble humility beautiful beautiful right mm -hmm. i got precept here this is on proverbs 29 and um, verse 23 it says a man's praise shall bring him low but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit all right it's going into a, a man's pride gonna be what broken down mm -hmm. because the most i only dealing with the meek right. and it tells you that that being meek and humble all right mm -hmm. and diligent within the truth the lord will show you favor doesn't mean that you're not going to go through trials and obstacles right because with trials and obstacles you get what experience yeah. and from experience it teach you wisdom okay. right it even goes so far to say the more greater you are well humble yourself that's right and when you look at the experience of what our lord yahweh shai he was humble mm -hmm. he had humility all right he could have called it a, a legion of angel yeah. and, and, and wipe out the roman empire if he wanted to okay. but he understood all right the um his task as in laying down his life to pick it up again to receive what power okay. all right well, go ahead. yeah let me just back you up mm -hmm. yeah this is proverbs 16 and verse 18 it says pride go before destruction and an arty spirit before fall it says bet it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud right all right because and and there is the the flip side there's a flip side to it too that yes pride goes before destruction mm -hmm. but humility goes before honor right you know and there's a next scripture in, in proverbs that tell you the exact thing mm -hmm. you understand and there is what the code going into yeah how you have to lower yourself become lowly you understand right. going in back to what being humble you know and eventually you're going to receive that power That's that the right. scripture had promised unto us yeah you understand That's right. Yeah. Um, let me get this one in Matthew Babuksha. But let me let me get this one in Romans that you mentioned about um Yahweh Shai, right? And how he lower himself. This is um <clears throat> This is uh, Romans eight and verse three it says for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh Yahweh sending his son in sinful flesh for and for sin condemned in the flesh that the righteous of the that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but in the spirit. It's not exactly but it, it kind of touch on um touch on it whereby Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai um came down in this sinful flesh, you know. Right. So that we could um so that we could inherit similar power as Yahweh Shai. Right? You gotta talk well look for look for the okay, um, original one, piece. That one is in um, Numbers twelve and verse um mm. uh, verse three. It says, Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men mm -hmm. which were upon the face of the earth. Alright? And Moses was what? He was humble. 
he had humility okay. all right patience all right and the lord you know moses was a great one of the great great prophets that's right he was given power too yeah. all right all right yeah this is hebrews mm -hmm. chapter 12 this is backing up your point right here, sir. Mm -hmm. hebrews 12 and i'll start at uh, verse 2 it says looking unto you how shy the author and finisher of our faith mm -hmm. who for the joy that was set before him mm -hmm. endured the cross yeah despising the shame yeah. brought, being brought down low yeah, uh, yeah. stooping low right that's right despising the shame that is that despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the most high yeah, that's right yeah. you understand because the the power that he he received after he was brought low because ain't nobody went through what yahusha went through yeah, exactly. that's right. you understand ain't nobody was brought low as how low yahusha was was brought down that's right you understand you know being beaten being spat upon mm -hmm. you know being uh, uh, uh humiliated in the streets mm -hmm. you understand being mocked and scarfed at you know and there's the law that we have to you know to be what joint tears with him that's right you understand like to tell you that the, the the servant is not greater than the master all right it goes on to say in verse 3 for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself lest ye be weary and faint in your minds because yahusha is our example yeah, you understand right. exactly. that we have to consider that hey this is this is what yahusha went through and he made it and we coming in instead of Yahusha, we coming in that same spirit of Yahweh Bash and Yahusha. That's right, that's right. You know, right. and, and through, this, through, through, through the spirit and through faith, you know, we believe that the most I can make us endure. That's right. You know? Yeah, but I can get it if you. Can I give a second? Yeah. But as that, he. Bear me a minute. Uh, Let me get this here in the meanwhile. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Ecclesiastes 3 and um, 28. Um, 20. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, mm -hmm. and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh. You know, and favor before the most high God, the, the, the most the more the ultimate being is honor. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it, it goes in to tell you what that the, the more that you elevate, you know, the more you have to come down. Exactly. You understand? The more lowly you have to be, the more low you have to stoop. Beautiful. Beautiful. Having the, the servant mindset. Right. You understand? That's right. It says no, actually, let me go up to verse verse 17. My son, go, my son, go on with thy business in meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh. It says, Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. You know? And hey, you you being you being in a in a certain congregation or a certain group that only this handful of people have the mysteries of the world exactly you understand that, that is an honorable thing you know yeah. being in the presence of the king hey the king never used to had uh, um you know sinners and, and unrighteous people among him it was always noble people or honorable people that used to be among the king mm -hmm. you know it says um for many are in high place and of renown but mysteries are revealed unto the meek he says for for the power of Yahweh is great and is honored of the lowly that's right that's right that's right you see yeah because the lord the lord look at us like you know when you look at the child right how humble and you may um they are humble all right you know you could let me say for example a child got through chastisement or you beat them or whatever it is you know they accept the punishment and they come back and just humble themselves Right? And that's how the Lord look at what the righteous. Alright? I got a quick grace up. This is uh first Peter five and verse six it says, Humble yourselves therefore unto the mighty hand of the power that he may exalt you in due time. In due time. Alright, because there is a time when 
you're gonna be in a low state all right where the lord is gonna what he's gonna chasing you he can put you out through all kind of situation to test yeah. you all right which through that um humbleness where well, you're gonna get endurance to continue yeah all right yeah. you know from that you know you being humble you're doing what you're supposed to do all right with um with scripture said with um it's what psalms 50 and 16 you could get it for me what because yeah. psalms 15 and 16. Yeah, Psalms 15, 16, uh -huh. it says, um, But unto the wicked, the most no, I say. It's it's a rock, yeah. it's I don't know when it go um, It's 51. We talk about the most I um, desire a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is it. 51 and 16, it says, no, For thou desires not sacrifice, else thou would, gi read would give it. Up read it up. Yeah, one more before. It says, um, Psalms 15. 51 and 15, O oh Lord, O oh Yahweh, open thou my lips and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. Right, so in a humble state, while well, you show forth what prayers to the most high, you know, giving glory and thanks to Yahweh, Bashem mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. It says, For thou desirest not sacrifice, else thou, the else I would give it. Uh -huh. Thou delightest not in, in burnt offering. Uh -huh. The sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit uh -huh. and a broken and a contrite heart, O Yahweh, thou wilt not despise. Right, the most I won't desp um, despise a man who is humble, mm -hmm. you know, a man who would, would do those things which he ought to do in righteousness. Yeah. You know, the sincerity of, you know, doing, going in the highways and byways, you know, you make your videos, them in sincerity. Okay. All right, your, um, your daily walk, your integrity, mm -hmm. you know, among people, you know. So that the most high name would not be blasphemed. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Um, this is it on the. Mm -hmm. I got precept. Go ahead. This is Matthew 23, verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Right. And exalt means you lift yourself up. You always, you're right. puffing up your chest, your chin high. Yeah. You know, you shall be abased. Abased what brought means brought low. Yeah. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Yeah. Right? And you, you willingly got up. Humble yourself because we scripture said pride is the beginning of sin, you know. And, and pride is a pride is a serious thing. You don't even know sometimes you don't even know when pride pride um creeping in. Creeping in. All right, I think about a priest of Sarak, but the words escaping right now. Let me continue reading verse verse um no this is on the one. This is on the one. Yeah, precept. Um, um but there's a precept in James, you know, that that hand in hand with our you know, expound on it a little bit more okay. but this is our Sirach chapter 6 mm. and I'll read from uh, yeah I'll read from verse 20 it says she is very unpleasant to the unlearned yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he that is without understanding will not remain with her mm -hmm. she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial mm -hmm. and will cast or and he will cast her from him ere it belong all right, it says, For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto men. That's yeah. right. It says, Give ear, my son, receive my advice, right. and refuse not my counsel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 24. And put thy feet in our fetters, mm -hmm. and thy neck into our chains. That's yeah. right. So you have to willingly mm -hmm. submit yeah. to, to, the, to the, um, the trial of right. wisdom. Right. That's right. You know, you have to let go of your ego. Yeah. You know, of your um, your, you know, your bravado. Your, yeah, as the man, mm -hmm. as a god. You understand? Mm -hmm. In order for the wisdom to dwell with you. Mm -hmm. right. All right. Now, it tell you here that you have to put your foot and fetters is what something that is, um, bind your foot. Yeah. All right. I restrain you. Exactly. And chains is what the ones that go on your hand. Yeah. All right. And get him on the neck. Exactly. But this twenty-five it says, bow down thy shoulder and Ooh. bear her. Mm -hmm. And be not grieved with her bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this you becoming what more and more lowly. Damn. You surrendering to the will of your how bash me how shy. Right. You know, you're not bucking up. Hey, why I have to go through this? Why I have to go through that? Mm -hmm. You know. It goes on to say, search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee mm -hmm. when thou art got hold, hold of her mm -hmm. and let not go. Mm -hmm. It says, um, for at last thou shalt find her rest, mm -hmm. and 
that shall be turned to thy joy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So the same the same the same wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, that first was burdensome. Mm -hmm. Alright? You had to surrender to she she yo she put the fetters and the chains and all that. Eventually you're gonna become what your rest and your joy. And then again go back to what the reward. Right. You know, of enduring in the wisdom of how Basha me how shape. You know, it goes on to say then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. Yeah, and then talk about power. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, now we got the power for wear it proudly. It's nothing for you to, you know, carry the carry the, carry the shame. We would call it so called shame or the humility, humility. You know, right? Because right now we have people telling you, "Slack yeah. People telling you that hey, you're wearing bad shit. Oh yeah, I know that the world coming to an end. Oh yeah, I seen the signs them. Oh yeah, I know this is the why it's not so and so. But yet still, you humble yourself. You know, okay. knowing that the wisdom that you have, it coming from your heart, Hashem Yahushai. All right, and there's a time and season for everything. Mm. All right. Says, uh, wherefore think ye evil? No, sorry, um, uh, listen, this is a uh, uh, good, good. This is Matthew 9 verse 6. But ye, but that ye know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, then saith he to the sick. Of the palsy arise take up thy bed and go go unto thine house and he arose and departed to his house and when the multitude saw it they marveled and glorified Yahweh which had given such power unto men why the glorify because Yahweh Shai wasn't no man of of, of um, carnal wealth um, the scripture say he was no comely man he wasn't like super good looking and whatnot yeah but the way he carried himself the power that he had, it has to be how Bashmi Aushai. And this this the this the I guess you could say the ordinance of, of power. That you have to be in a lowly state in order for for um to wield the power. Because you're gonna be a tyrant. How can you how can you be a judge if you don't know what it's like to be in a lowly state lowly state? So that's why we going through what we're going through. That's why we preparing ourselves to lower ourselves to be hated you know by the world just to glorify you how much you should have to glorify yourselves you know what i'm saying yeah but y'all got to talk this one on a quick point this view all right, so with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, Double Lands, the Apostles, and the Elves of Great and Stone, Salutation, 144,000 men, the one third, men, women, children, like to be saved. Shalom. Shalom.